Hi, Carrie and Sharice here to be to talk about uh, buying, making a decision on location. So it, obviously, it's good to have a general idea of where you're looking. Um, if you choose a one block radius in this market, you're not gonna. It's not gonna work out well because there's just not enough inventory, right? But being able to say. I want to live in maybe Orange, yeah, maybe parts of Santa Ana, parts of Tustin, that, that helps. Yeah. Saying you want to look in your Belinda and San Clemente and Costa Mesa, like that, you're going to get three completely different products in each of those different cities. Yeah. I think first and foremost, we've talked about this a number of times, but I think first you have to find out what your budget is. Your actual, real, factual budget, not like your quick and online, like, said this budget. Like, your actual, for sure. They pulled your credit, like, big boy, big girl stuff. Like, it, like they did that, and then you're saying, okay, at 700, comparing, okay, here's what I get here in this city versus this city versus this city. And then actually, and, and I know that it's a process, but I think it's real hard to say Orange County, 700. Okay, like, there's, it's just too many to choose from, and I think it gets overwhelming. And I think when you are out and about, and you're looking at houses, and you look at too many at one time, too many variables at one time, too many different things at one time, I think it, it gets overwhelming, and I think it's harder than probably it should or needs to be. I think you have. I think while you compare, and sometimes you have to do, and, and I sometimes feel bad saying, but I think you have to drive the neighborhoods. And, and sometimes prior to looking, I think you have to go and say like, uh, not this, yes that, because online. And I say this, I make this joke, and I'm sure it's stupid, but like it's on. It's like online dating. Like those houses don't look like they actually look in person. <laughs> and people like I know I've said it's a couple people like, but I'm like. You it's think true. that because it's true. Because it's your totally picture is true. 20 years old. <laughs> and you don't look like that either. Um, <laughs> right? Like, it, so I think sometimes it, 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 it's, um, they want to get you there, right? Because they know 90% of you, that's how you're finding the house to begin with. Right. I think if you start with your ideal location and go out from there. So for example, if your ideal location is Old Town Orange, but you know you can't afford a million dollars. Then you start working your way out. Where else can I find craftsman homes? You can find them in downtown Fullerton. You can find them in certain parts of Santa Ana. So figuring out what your ideal location is and what your ideal either house or, for some people it's not the style of house, it's the location. So then if it's just location, then you may have to be a little bit more flexible on two verse, two bedrooms versus three bedrooms, townhouse versus single family. Um, but I think starting with your ideal and then working out from there is is helpful versus saying, oh, anywhere in Orange County. Because like Carrie said, you'll get overwhelmed. And getting your budget. And, and right now it's a little bit harder as far as budget is concerned because if you're only you know, pre-approved to 850, you kind of got to come down from there right now because stuff listed at 850 right now is selling for more than that. So you have to be careful as you're looking and using your budget and go not too far below, but below so that you have some room and play, you know, when you do write it off.